Today on Engineering Newswire, we're battling diabetes with temporary tattoos, testing out Ford's all new carbon fiber supercar, and floating in a foam car. Because apparently it's safer. This week, Ford has unveiled its all-new GT, featuring the most powerful EcoBoost production engine ever. A new twin-turbocharged V6 that produces more than 600 horsepower. Well, that's a lot of horses. The engine will be paired with a seven-speed dual-clutch transaxle for quick gear changes and enhanced driver control. The supercar also features rear-wheel drive, a deployable rear spoiler, SYNC 3, the latest version of Ford's advanced connectivity system, and an aerodynamic two-door coupe body shell. It also makes use of lightweight materials, including carbon fiber and aluminum, giving it one of the best power-to-weight ratios of any production car. To further reduce weight, the passenger seats are integrated directly into the carbon fiber passenger cell. But to accommodate a wide variety of heights, The pedal and steering column are adjustable. The chassis itself is suspended by an active racing style torsion bar and push rod suspension with an adjustable ride height atop 20 inch multi-spoke wheels. And if that is not enough, it has upward swinging doors. Now that's fancy. Soft, safe, sexy. This is the motto of a three-wheeled micro-vehicle, the Spear of 4 u which is beginning pilot production in China for both electric and gas-powered honeycomb composite versions. With one wheel in front and two in the back, steering of the one-seat vehicle is performed with two grips in the shape of an inverted V. The electric version is almost double the price at $9,000 and comes in single or dual motor types. With a single 10 kilowatt motor and a 72 amp battery pack, it has a range of about 70 miles and can reach a maximum speed of 62 miles an hour. And it uses any standard household outlet to charge. Both of the microcars are so light that you can park the car upright. According to the inventor, it's possible to park eight Spirit 4 U's in a single parking stall. Talk about compact parking. <laughs> the car's polypropylene foam panels also give it a better shock absorption than other vehicles on the road today. Oh, and it floats. A new temporary tattoo from the nano engineers at the University of California, San Diego, extracts and measures the level of glucose in the fluid between skin cells. Like a leech, just put it on and it sucks the life right out of you. In this proof of concept, carefully patterned electrodes are printed on a temporary tattoo paper. A mild electric current is applied to the skin and forces sodium ions in the fluid between skin cells to migrate towards the tattoo's electrodes. These ions carry glucose molecules that are also found in the fluid. A sensor built into the tattoo then measures the strength of the electrical charge to determine the overall glucose levels. The tattoo could also pave the way for other uses, such as detecting metabolites in the body, John Jones, or delivering medicines through the skin. Right now, the wearable doesn't have an easy way for users to monitor their own levels, but researchers in the Center for Wearable Sensors hope to design Bluetooth capabilities that will allow real-time access to the information. The best thing about this sensor is that it's cheap and easy. They will last longer than a day, and a rub-on tattoo is much more user-friendly than jabbing tiny needles into your fingers over and over and over. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Fossbender and this has been your Engineering Newswire.